Howdy guys, it's Ben Streeper with 405th and Soaring Hammer, and I'm about to show you probably the most boring part of any build. Um, I know it's really boring and it takes a long, long time, but as you can see, I've already started the, the process, um, but I've taken Plaster Patcher and layered it up on my Elite Head. Now what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to actually carve about the details with this sandpaper and what that'll do is it'll give it more of a fleshy and organic feel instead of using a Dremel or relying on the initial shape which y'all saw was really blocky what I'm doing is I've taken a 120 grit sandpaper and I'm actually just trying to follow what I would think would be the natural edges here. As you can see this sands off really easily but what I'm doing is not only making it smooth but I'm trying to push in and take off just a little excess where I think this, the skin would naturally creep in. Now what I'm basing this top part off is the legendary elite skull taken and I'm gonna have some indentions here where it comes in I've actually come through and already got the smoothed out shape here I have the entire other side to do uh, I'm not gonna bore you with six seven eight twelve hours of this but I want you to see what it looks like oops kick the camera what it looks like here before and after sanding I know you can't see much of a difference here with the white, um, but there's some of the process. Any of you other guys making an Elite, I highly recommend the DAT Plaster Paris Plaster Patcher because it has made this not only inexpensive to do at $5 a quart, but a lot easier to do. It's very similar to doing clay work. Anyway, this is Ben Streeper, 405th and Sword Hammers. Remember, if I can do it. So can you.